Shamanastan Nizonian Donish. Mother Earth will make you beautiful. Diabetes is a huge issue out, out here with the Navajo, and there's several factors that play into it, but uh, essentially the, the area is a food desert. There's uh, limited access to um, healthy foods. Uh, people drive long distances to get to shopping centers. There's like 13, about around 13 grocery stores on the whole Navajo Reservation. And so um, there's a lot of people who are not getting access to fruits and vegetables. And so in that way, we're just trying to um, address that for sure, um, giving people more access to fruits and vegetables. Uh, another big concern is diabetes. Uh, there's a lot of statistics going around, but uh, one I've seen has been like one in three Navajo have uh, diabetes. Yigo Gardening is a community garden intervention aimed to increase fruit and vegetable intake among uh, two communities on the Navajo Nation, Crown Point and Shiprock. We chose uh, to do a gardening project because we wanted to increase access to fruits and vegetables, um, but we also chose that because we knew that that was very much part of their culture. One of our traditional beliefs is um, Mother Earth is sacred and that's where we teach them to take care of everything. Instead of telling them that, oh, you can just go to a store and buy it, like you can actually grow it and take care of it yourself, and that it can be done, and that we've been doing it for so many years before any, any of this new technology came in. You know, adult, we adults are kind of set in our ways, and it becomes a little more difficult to change behavior that's been set earlier, you know, earlier in life. And so, tar you know, targeting youth and family you know, we hope that it will foster greater adoption of uh, healthy eating habits. They love to get their hands dirty. And with any child, that's, that's what they want. And that's why we're so fortunate that we get to have the opportunity with, the, with these kids and teach them that so that they can take it home and teach the rest of their family. It's like a real good ripple effect that it shows that the kids are eager to learn and it's not, it's not the fact that they don't want to. This project actually is, is, uh, is being funded um, from the National Institutes of Health uh, because of its potential in cancer prevention. And it's fairly well known that, uh, that higher rates of obesity are associated with higher rates of certain cancers. I guess I would just like to see um, us having the awareness of where food is derived from and how interconnected it is with health to where we could, you know, actually uh, overall be a, a healthier society. Really, things have to be done more in an integrated manner. Uh, it's, not, it's not just a matter of like identifying a problem and then trying to, to come up with a, a single solution because there is no single solution to it. It's multifaceted. So how do you bring in multiple disciplines to approach a problem, you know, from from multiple angles? And that's what I think we have going here. Gardening for my family is a family activity. When we do have a bigger garden, it seems like the whole group will go out and and just walk among the plants, whether we're pulling weeds or just going through the um, cornfield. I know it's the kids, they love to play in the cornfield, hide and seek, and, and they just get to see the bugs that are out there and, and learn about uh, the ecosystem. Here's going to squish it. Ew. I know. It's going poo poo. <laughs> There's a big possibility that um, the immediate parents of like the um, students at our facilities um, do not know how to garden, but then it creates connections to other members of the family, especially like grandparents um, that who remember growing up having a garden, have, working on a farm, and kind of creating that connection and maybe dialogue to, to consider gardening again. Um, and so that sense, it's, it does, pro it does um, provide kind of like a cross-generational um, connection. Whoa, whoa, make it stand up. There you go. Yeah. We go ahead. Whoa, whoa! Don't just put it in there. Don't just treat it nice. Treat it like a baby. 
we developed community garden plots, actual places essential to the community where people could garden. And then we also had a series of workshops for community residents where they could uh, learn basic gardening techniques, how to plant, when to plant, what to plant, how to do weeding, the right amount of watering. And we hoped that people would uh, participate in the community garden, but also take those skills and use them in their own home gardens. Remember that one picture of my grandpa's doing this? Yeah. What was he doing? Hoeing. What do you, what we do? What do you mean by hoeing? Weed. 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 Taking out weeds. So what's this? Weeds. Weeds. Pull it out. Pull it out. Cancer is also a uh, prevalent um, disease on the Navajo Nation as well, and so that's another thing that we're trying to um, address in terms of ha providing preventative care and also um, kind of uh, taking advantage of some recent studies that show that having a more healthier diet, um, not only do you get the nutrients, but the nutrients also kind of become like medicine. And so that helps as well to uh, prevent, but also uh, maybe even help one uh, manage if they have those diseases, manage those diseases as well. Uh, oh, sick, it went in my nose. By gardening, uh, you do get access to fruits and vegetables. Uh, you also get some physical activity. Um, also in uh, a kind of mental health aspect, there's um, a lot of research that talks about how um, Gardening is a way to relax, um, and then of course the cultural aspect has, is probably the most important in that um, by just kind of learning how the land works again and how um, you interact with it and seeing what ways work to grow your garden. That's another uh, major link to um, Navajo beliefs and culture. She is Aspen you and I am Leah. She is six years old and I am eight years old. Yes. And our favorite thing about planting is um, getting our hands dirty. Yeah. And getting dirty. Yes. But after that, they tell us to clean up the lunch. Yeah.